Hello friends, in this video I am going to write a C program to print equilateral triangle or pyramid star pattern. I am using dev C++ uh, compiler here. So make sure that you have to write int return type for main function. That's why I am returning 0 here. So one more thing is that uh, I am going to com uh, write the complete program and then after we'll run the program and uh, the expected output would be shown and then after I will let you know the logic behind the program. So firstly I have to write the program and here is the statement for declaration and now I have to write the print statement for user input enter number of rows. and then after we have to scan scan up percent d m percent rows and then we have to iterate the loop i equal to one i less than equal to rows and i plus plus and one again one more loop we have j equal to i j less than rows and j plus plus and inside of it we are going to print spaces and then after we have to use one more loop that is for j equal to one j less than equal to here i have used a formula which is 2 into i minus 1 <coughs> and j plus plus and again i have to print here star right and at the end once the loop will be iterated and for first first row would be completed we have to write here the printf backslash n for going to the next row right so let's run this program and okay we have forget to write double quotes now we have to give the input I have given it so finally we got the uh, expected output which was the star pattern right <coughs> so let me explain you the code that how I have written this so uh, you have seen that we have uh, equal number of rows and columns for uh, uh, right now and that's why we have used uh, rows as a input from the user and first loop is for counting the number of rows and inside of it we have two more loops first is for printing the spaces before the star printing before printing the star this whole area is the spaces right so we have written the <coughs> written these spaces because of this specific statement right and other and the star other stars are written by this uh, code so how we have done this actually uh, for j equal to i what does it mean for first row uh, when uh, j is initialized with one and you know that one less than rows rows means total number of rows which are eight so this will go j will go up to seven so seven spaces would be printed here and then after uh, this condition would be wrong and we will come out and then go into the next next loop and again j is initialized with one and j less than equal to two into i i means one two into one two minus one one so what does it mean that one less than equal to one yes so we will print the star so one star would be printed and again if you will iterate, uh, iterate for the next time j equal to two then two into two four four minus one equal to three and you know that one is not less than equal to three because of which uh, again we will not able to print the star so for the first row we are able to uh, print only single star and for the next uh, row we are able to uh, print uh, six number of uh, 
six number of spaces and then after uh, whatever would be left that would be printed by using this uh, formula right so again three stars would be printed and then after the repetition of the loop would be done and finally you will end up with this specific pattern which is called as equilateral triangle or sometimes we also call it pyramid star pattern so this is one of the beautiful pattern that you are looking right now this is really easy you have to practice in your in your own system uh, so that you could able to uh, dry run firstly you have to dry run uh, on the notebook or might be if you can directly understand then try to understand the code and then write uh, in your uh, system and then run and then finally you will be able to uh, know the logic behind this all right because here is loop so understanding a loop are really important so make sure that you uh, uh, write the program and then after uh, understand the fund of behind the uh, behind the pattern you can call it the logic thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead